Get into the Pioneer postgame report. Tuslam victorious over the Mars Hill Lions by the final score of 79-46. to I am Ty Waring, Justin Jeffers, with Ty Liss, head coach Devin Carter. And, Coach, if you'd won a tie tonight, you would have ripped it off in the first half. Absolutely. Um, just didn't think we came out great. Um, didn't think we started the game like we, like we should. And I uh, told our girls that, that, that Mars Hill was an improved team and that uh, you can't take them for granted. They played Wingate to six points uh, in the first half at their place. And if you sleep, if you walk out, you're not ready to compete, uh, then they'll make you pay. And uh, obviously, we came out in the first half and felt like we were lax a days ago. I felt like we weren't very attentive to detail. And, um, you know, we paid for it in the first half. What kept Tusklam in that first half, however, was forcing 18 first half turnovers. We've talked about it before. One thing that does not go into a shooting slump is your defense. Yeah. You, you were whistled for a lot of fouls when you were trying to be aggressive, but you continued to be aggressive, and it forced those 18 turnovers, and that's what kept you in the first half. And despite how bad you played in the first half, yeah. 2 of 20 from 3, under 30% from the floor, you go to the halftime locker room with a one-point lead. Yeah, I mean, all year, um, every, every game we've played this year, um, the game hadn't been officiated like it was today. Uh, and, and we got to do a better job of adjusting. Um, you know, as players, when you're on the floor, you see how the game's being called, you got to adjust. And so, you know, this was a first for us. Never had a game officiated like this. And so our kids got to do a better job of, of just adjusting to the whistle. Uh, I felt like, um, you know, the turnover uh, situation, that, that's going to keep you in ball games. The thing I was disappointed with in the first half is that we were getting turnovers, but we weren't converting off our turnovers. And so when you get that many turnovers, you got to be able to go ahead and, 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 and finish at the rim and things like that. And so that's something definitely that we got to work on uh, as we head into Saturday. You move to the second half. You outscore Mars Hill in the second half, 47-15. to 15. Yeah. I think you started – you were quicker to the ball. Yeah. You weren't standing and reaching, so the foul count was less. And then you started making shots from the outside. Yeah. And, you know, I told our kids, like, I, I didn't care how bad we were shooting the ball because I know that we've gotten the reps up uh, to be a good shooting team. Uh, I told them that, they, you know, the second half, if you're passive, you're coming out. If, if you're not ready to shoot the basketball, you're coming out of the ball game. And they stepped in and knocked down some shots. Uh, you know, I, I challenged our kids, like, you know, at, at, the, at the half, uh, that we got to put some, some stops together. And we came out in the second half and put some stops together. Like you said, we were quicker to the ball, had a lot more deflections in the second half, and our juice was back. And um, I told them it shouldn't have to take Coach almost losing his voice at halftime to get the juice back. But they did and a uh, very impressive second half to limit them to 15 points. And not only limiting them to 15 points, it's back-to-back -back games yeah. that you've held the opponent under 46 points. Yeah. 46 points tonight, 45 points allowed against Lenore Ryan. That's just good defense. Yeah, and, and I told our kids, like, we got to be better. You know, with, with that uh, 46 points tonight, they got 18 from the foul line. And I told our kids, that's not, that's not you know, the officiating or anything else. That's us. That's our failure to adjust. Uh, you can't put somebody on the line 23 times, especially a team that knocks it down like Mars Hill from the line, and expect to, to, to win close ball games. And so, you know, that's something that, that also we got to clean up. Uh, but really impressed with our effort to limit them to, to 13 field goals, um, you know, in, in the game and to hold them under 30% shooting from the field, 10% from the three-point line. Uh, I'll take it. Coach, no rest for the weary. The Coker Cobras with an assistant coach that's one of our own coming in here. Oh, yeah. And we take on a, another South London Conference team. But this makes six wins in a row. Yeah. We're running a hot streak. Yeah. And, uh, you know, during the year, you want to put games together. Uh, I told our girls is that, you know, we, we've shown over the course of time that we play well at home. And so even when we hit some adversity today, I uh, felt like the crowd brought us through. Uh, men's basketball was great for us, brought a lot of energy for us, and that's when the game really started to turn. So shout out to JT and those guys for that. And then, uh, you know, like you said, Michaela Hash coming up in here, one of our own. That's my girl. She's, she's, a, she's a great kid. Um, you know, and, and over at Coker, they got a young team. They're really athletic, really big. And um, if we play like we played tonight, we'll get beat. You know, so got to clean that up. Two things. I've never seen a men's head coach 
in the stands cheering with his team like JT Burton did. Yeah. Kudos to him for that. Absolutely. And especially in that first half when you might need a little extra pep. We and needed it. Something tells me Michaela Hash gets the scout for this game. Yeah, she does. I mean, you know, I, I tell people this all the time is that she's been at a lot of our practices over the past few years, and she's been at a lot of our uh, at a lot of our practices last year. So we may have to change up our play calls and everything else because she knows it all. And so, um, you know, uh, like you said, though, shout out to JT for that. I, I really appreciated that, and, and you know, that's the way it should be. Men's, women's basketball sticking together, and uh, we're going to return the favor. Uh, here in a few minutes, and then uh, we'll welcome Co uh, Coker in here on Saturday. It's a good thing he didn't go shirtless or paint his right. chest or yeah. anything like no that. No Bruce Pearl. Because you do have to repay the favor. Exactly right. No Bruce Pearl. <laughs> Head coach Devin Carter, his team gets the victory by the final score. Tusculum 79, Mars Hill 46. Back with more of the Pioneer postgame after this as you listen to Pioneer Basketball on the Pioneer Sports Network. <laughs> 